Dallas. I'm here to show you another volleyball video that you can use for your PE classes. Hope all of y'all are doing well. Hope you're keeping your social distancing going and washing your hands a lot. Um, we're gonna go over passing today. Um, the first thing I'm gonna tell you about are the grips. There's two acceptable grips that we like to use for your hands. So we're gonna have our, you can either have your hands out like this and put one hand in the other hand and then kind of combine your thumbs, have your arms out like that the area where you want to contact the ball before you the rest of the elbow. So you'll be like this for your passing. You have to bend your knees a little bit with either foot forward is fine, doesn't matter. Some people even get their feet a little more even. So that's one grip. The other grip is you can make a fist with one hand and wrap your other hand around it so it's nice and even. I'm gonna have the forearms like that. Never ever interlock your fingers like this. It can kind of hurt your fingers, it doesn't feel real good, and it also doesn't give a nice even space for you to pass. Now one thing you can do if you don't have anyone at your house that you can pass with it, you can just kind of pass to yourself. Just keep the ball going up in the air like this. That's something you can do. Some people, if you first have to ask your parents, you can pass it off the roof of your house. So my kids do a lot, pass it up, and then when it comes back down, it comes to you, then you can pass it again. Okay, if your parents don't really want you to go on the roof, you can find a wall, a little wall space for you to do it, and you can kind of pass it into the wall, and the ball will come back to you, and you just kind of try to keep it going off the wall like this. If you're lucky enough to have someone with you, like I have my son Colin here, goodbye. If you're lucky enough to have someone with you and you want to practice passing back and forth, then he can just pass, and I'll pass back in. So we see how we're keeping our arms straight. There's not a lot of bend in our elbows. He's not as good as me, so we can't pass it down low. Keep it down here. Good. So that's three different ways that you can practice passing the volleyball. So hope everybody's doing well. We miss y'all. Thank you.